I'm in Walmart because I need to get mailing supplies for my Patreon mail outs, but I'm kind of in a hurry because my boy Keenan's coming over and he's gonna help me with my smartphone, which he made dumb, and he's gonna teach you how to make your smartphone dumb, but we've gotta hurry. I'm gonna start working on some Patreon packages. This is our parish workroom. We use this for putting together little things for our teenagers, as well as where I am gonna be working on my Patreon fulfillment packages, so check it. Team, come help me buy my ring. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go buy Daniela's ring. So those of you who know, I designed a Marian consecration ring, but for some reason, people need my help to buy it. I make no money off of this ring, so we're gonna help Daniela buy her ring. I have to clarify this. People say, Gabe and your team. We don't have a team. We all work at the same church, and we're friends, and we work together. That's my friend Ben behind me. There's Claire, there's Daniela, and we're gonna buy her ring because we're still waiting for Keenan to get here. Daniela, guess what? Keenan's coming here, one o'clock. No way! <laughs> we're all friends. Not like we have a large organization, just letting you know. She's, look at this, what is this? Adoro to devorto. <laughs> what are you looking at? Adoro to I'm just kidding, I know, that's a Gregorian chant. So we're going to Etsy, Marian Consecration. Depends on where I get them. I get these scapulars made on Etsy for me from a wonderful woman. So that's the package. Quick, take a seat. Let's talk. I need to talk to you guys. My brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you about something important, and that is your cell phone and your cell phone usage. Our brains are not designed to take in constant information. The dopamine addiction is real. Phones are a temptation. There's plenty of things that can happen from the phone. Hidden friendships, hidden habits, bad habits, addictions, and also bad media. So pornography, music, videos, etc. things that can cause you to sin. I encourage you to make your smartphone a dumb phone. Why? Because when we have access to the world and other people's opinions and dopamine constantly hitting us, there is the temptation, because we have concupiscence, to misuse our devices. Now zoom in, this is very important. We all have a problem. We look at our phones too much. What's the problem with looking at our phones too much? A couple things, let me just remind you. Number one, if you're trying to have a sense of the presence of God at all times, when you look at the news or when you look at your phone, you lose that recollection. Two, you will say, I'm just gonna look at my phone for one thing and then something else comes up and that drags you aside. Thirdly, the scripture says that at our last moment, at our judgment, we are going to be held accountable for every idle word. Oh my gosh, now should I live in fear? Oh, every idle word. No, but we should be cognizant of how we waste our time. If we are with our families, if we're with our children, if we're with our friends, if we're with any other person, who deserves our attention? The person directly in front of us, not the fantasy world that is the internet. I have the internet on my laptop. I just don't need this with me at all times. There's times where I gotta put this away. Our Lord says, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. And I'm saying, if the internet or an app or social media is causing you to sin, cut it off. Folks, legit, no joke, there's my mom driving by. Hi, Grandma. Hi. How are you? What are you doing? I'm waiting for Kenan. Oh. God bless you. I love you too. Looking at our phones can be addictive, especially because they're so beautiful. So one of the things to help you look at your phone less is to make it grayscale. If you have an iPhone, this is what you do. You go to settings, then you go to accessibility, and you go to display and text size. 
After that, you'll scroll down to where it says color filters off. You'll tap that and you'll turn color filters on. They have other ones, but I prefer grayscale so that you can still navigate your phone. If you wanna make it a shortcut, you'll go back to accessibility. You'll scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see a section that says accessibility shortcut, ask. You tap it. I have mine selected to be color filters and classic invert. Why do I have that selected? Because now if you touch the home button three times, one, two, three, the option comes up to turn it on and off. So I'm outside waiting for Keenan. Number one reason is he's coming to pick up Miraculous Medals because he's gonna give a talk to some middle schoolers. So we gotta load that guy up to steal their souls for our lady. Reason number two, let me be very clear. Keenan made my phone a dumb phone. He has the password to download apps. There are certain apps that I do not have that I want. Why do I want those apps? Can't you just Google search what you want to know? No, I can't because he got rid of my Safari. He got rid of my Google search. I've seen a lot of advertisements back when I was really hard surfing social media for the Halo app. I don't know what it is. I hope it's good. I want that downloaded. I want Uber downloaded. I want Uber Eats downloaded. I do a lot of traveling lately. I've been traveling a lot. So I want the United app. I want the Southwest Airlines app. And so instead of having Keenan come over every single time I want a new app, I'm going to hand him my phone. He is going to watch me download apps. Just in case you are curious as to why I need Keenan to unlock my phone. I still have, I can get in it. I just can't get on the internet or download apps. I think you should find a friend like Keenan in your life to do this for you. Why? Because I'm broken! Three hours later. He rolls up. Okay, my brothers and sisters, he has arrived. So we're gonna go to the room that I've been working on my uh, Patreon stuff. Ken, say hello. Hello, hello. And he's gonna help me get my phone in order. Please disregard the ironing board we have there. This is kind of what? like the room that we do all of our crafts What, what was being ironed here? Uh, Claire wanted to make shirts, but oh. instead of actually paying money to have shirts made, she had our teenagers ironing letters on. And let me tell you what. <laughs> they looked as bad as good as you could imagine. <laughs> The playing cards. These are going to your uh, Patreon members? Yeah. Man. They don't know how good they have it. Yeah. They don't know how good they have it. It's me. Hey, <laughs> Danny's back. There she is. Breaking Our news. friend Daniela was in a great podcast with a guy named Rudy called In The Pews. I'm going to link that. I'm also going to be on Rudy's podcast. Oh, really? Rudy's got a good podcast. He just emailed me today. That's awesome. So that's the last time I'm going to interrupt so that you can finally get to how to lock down your phone. <laughs> Obviously, your phone is causing you a problem because you've been watching this the entire time. <laughs> Before we lock my phone down and make my smartphone a dumb phone, what are some reasons you think that people should shut their phones down, yeah. social media, Safari, searching, all that kind of yeah. stuff? What, what are your opinion? I think there's two main reasons. First of all, productivity. I'm a slave to my phone, like addicted to, to apps and stuff like that. So I know... Like by deleting all the apps, Instagram, Facebook, all those things, taking off Safari, taking off Google, I save so much time throughout my day because otherwise I'm wasting time on those apps. There's nothing gained from getting on those apps. Like there's no actual thing gained from doing any of those. Uh, And so I, you know, your screen time will tell you how much time you waste on them. And so by getting rid of those, you just can allot that time for, for study or for work or for prayer, whatever it may be. Right. That you can you can save all that time. So many people tell me I don't have time to pray the rosary, mm. and it's like, dude, every time dude. you're holding your phone, you literally can be holding beads instead. Yeah, you definitely have more time for prayer, and your screen time tells you that. And second, what's the second? Second thing? is the near occasion of sin. I mean, having a phone and having app, particular apps, um, in the internet is it's you know the door is open to to whether it be pornography, whatever it is, the near occasion of sin is right there. So by taking all those off. You just you shut the door and you don't you don't even give yourself the option to fall into sin that way and I think that's I mean awesome yeah so important so. thank you sir so let's get to it so I'm gonna hand Keenan my phone Danielle still here you wanna learn how to do this yeah so I'm gonna hand Keenan my phone I'm unlocking I don't know if I'm gonna do it <laughs> he purposely he purposely downloaded Safari and the App Store he's gonna show us how to remove the App Store and remove Safari if you're using an Apple phone all right so I'm gonna go over his shoulder. Daniel, will you hold this room? Right there like that. It's a nice look on him. He's got the nice jawline. Uh, <laughs> it's, that, it's that beer. I need to get a beer, guys. <laughs> okay. 
So we go to screen time. Click on, yeah, you go to screen time and then you scroll down to content and privacy restrictions. Yeah, got it. Then it has iTunes and App Store purchases. So you can go to installing apps. Yeah. You don't allow. So that gets rid of the App Store. Yes. So you can't download anything else. And then you can go to deleting deleting apps. You keep that allowed because you want to be able to delete your apps. Right. Then you go back and then allowed apps. This is important because this get rid, gets rid of Safari. Ah, because yes. I never knew how to delete it. Because you mm. just try to delete it the old fashioned way by putting your thumb and then shaking and jiggling. It doesn't work. So it won't that, happen. That's good. Great. So that gets rid of a Safari. Where is Safari's gone. Safari's okay, Safari's gone. gone. Yeah. So yeah. So then now you don't have the App Store, so you can't re-download. Like you know, I would try to re-download Instagram and stuff like that, but now I can't, and it's great. Is that it? We're, we're done. Yeah, that's it. Great. And so yeah, and then you just set the code, change screen time passcode. Yeah. You just click this, change screen time passcode. Now you obviously you'll give this to a friend or a family member. You'll have them type in the code. Right. Remember the code. Um, make sure they remember the code, and so that whenever you try to go because. Like I did, I always would try to go change it after I got a, a passcode right. set. Yeah. Um, you can't because you don't know the code. Right. And so you'll have to go to that family member. But again, the whole idea is that you don't get access to that. So you have them set the, the, set the new passcode uh, and then remember it and then you're good to go. Okay, my friends, make your smartphone a dumb phone. That's the smartest move you'll ever do. God bless you. God love you. And we'll see you soon.